Hello everyone, this is Blood Queen Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Sagittarius. Sagittarius, this is your weekly reading for February the 7th to the 13th, 2021. Um, Y'all oracle for this week is homework. Take yourself out on a date. So this is your oracle, and this is what, what will be crowning your energy. Yeah, crystal insp inspiration is soda light. Soda light. And it says, speak your truth. Y'all first card out. Y'all got two flipped out together. And the nine of pentacles and the devil. The devil. This is the major arcana for the sign of Capricorn. And this is earth energy. Um, this is Virgo. This is a Virgo card. Single and abundant. Sagittarius. Um, you can have Earth in your chart. If not, you could be dealing with an Earth sign. Probably a Capricorn. Or you could be dealing with a Virgo. Or you can have Capricorn or Virgo in your chart. Or you dealing with a Capricorn or a Virgo. This could be telling me that um, Sagittarius, you could be like obsessing a little bit. Concerning your, if you're single, you could be obsessing about your, um, being single. Like you probably don't want to be single no more. Or you could be uh, obsessing about, um, a, some type of abundance, like being single and abundant. You probably single and you want to be, be a more abundant or become abundant while you're single. Um, yeah, so that could be going on. If this is your energy, if this is you, Sagittarius, you could be obsessing a little bit about some like abundance. Or you could be obsessing about a Virgo. When I ask for more information about the devil, this queen of... No. Where is... um? Oh, no, let me go back. What clarified the devil was this four pentacles. So this could be like a penny pincher, a miser. This could be somebody holding back secrets, keeping secrets a little bit. Like they not letting the right hand know what the left hand is doing. The four pentacles. This could be someone holding back their resources or stingy with their finances. What clarified the nine of pentacles was the seven of swords. So, this could be some type of deception. If this is not some type of deception, this could be like somebody getting away from something that they need to get away from. Or if this is deception, this is someone getting away with something. Like they're getting away with it. What I also wanted to say with these two cards as well. Sagittarius, this could be you. Like, you could be single and abundant. This nine of pentacles. But it could be telling me your abundance came, like, probably illegally. Some illegal, ill-gotten gain. Like, the way you got to your abundance was um, means that's frowned upon or illegal. It don't have to be a illegal. It could just be something frown frowned upon. Like, for example, Sagittarius, if you're a tarot reader, you know, a lot of people don't like, you know, the occult and tarot readings and all that. So, this could just be saying, like, the way you make your money, the way you make money, you know, could be looked at as devil energy. Or this is telling me the way you make your money is... um probably illegal or it got devil energy with how you make your money when i asked for more information about the devil this queen of wands came out <clears throat> so we got a little bit of everything we got earth we got capricorn we got the queen of wands queen of wands is usually a leo we got swords which is um aquarius a libra or gemini what clarified the Queen of Wands was the will. So something is changing. 
Something is changing in your favor. The will speaks of change. This will can turn and it could be in your favor. Or this will can turn and it could be something somebody don't like. So, let me see something. <clears throat> is this devil, is the devil Sagittarius? Is the devil Sagittarius? It's telling me no. It's telling me no. Is the devil... Is this devil... Is the devil a Capricorn? Is the devil a Capricorn and Sagittarius energy? No. Okay, so this is probably some devil energy. Um, It's not... The devil is not you. It's not a Capricorn person. So, Sagittarius, somebody around you is some devil energy with something. It's some devil energy. Um, I don't know. Maybe this Queen of Wands, it could be a fire sign, a Leo, a Aries, or a Sagittarius. Don't have to be. But maybe somebody was could have wanting to take action to do something against you, Sagittarius. Because the Queen of Wands take action. And she's confident. And maybe this will is here. So something is changing concerning this Queen of Wands. This action or this person. This Queen of Wands don't have to be a person. It could just be an action. So there's some devil energy going on around you with... The, this energy or this this person or this action right here. And I think the will might shut it down. Like this action, this Queen of Wands might not happen. But I'm going to see. I'm going to clarify it. But when I ask for more information about the Nine of Pentacles, this Nine of Swords came out. This Nine of Swords. So this somebody... uh. This is either a guilty conscience or this is somebody stressed out. Mental turmoil, mental conflict, a guilty conscience. Somebody stay up at night. They can't eat. They can't sleep. They can't think. Nine swords. So somebody stressing. What clarified the nine of swords was this queen of wands. So has she go again? Um, Sagittarius, you could be dealing with another fire sign. This Queen of Wands. This Queen of Wands could be a Leo, an Aries, or a Sagittarius. I don't know. Um, Sagittarius, this devil energy right here, it could be somebody that's probably jealous of you. Um, because you're probably single and abundant. Because this could be letting me know, Sagittarius, if this is your energy, if this is your energy, it's like whatever you probably do for work or to get this abundance, it's like you're getting away with it, whether it's wrong or right. You're getting away with being single and abundant. Like whatever you're doing, whether it's wrong or right, illegal or legal, it's like it's working out for you because the seven of swords is like you getting away with something. It don't always have to be deception. It just could be telling me something is working very well for you. And whoever this devil energy is, is telling me it's not a Capricorn and it's telling me it's not you. So this is devil energy and it could be jealousy. Could be jealousy. Um... Because I'm getting this Queen of Wands. This Queen of Wands wanted to take action to cause you distress. And this Queen of Wands was going to do it behind your back. Whether it was a male or female. This Queen of Let me see if that Nine of Pentacles is you. Is this Nine of Pentacles Sagittarius? Yep. Yeah. Yep. So this Nine of Pentacles is you. And you could have Virgo in your chart because this is a Virgo card. So, Sagittarius, you probably got Virgo in your chart or um, 
<clears throat> you could be a Virgo watching this and you got um, Sagittarius somewhere in your chart. So, yeah. So this Queen of Wands, whoever this Queen of Wands is, to you, this I, I believe it's a person because she's showing up twice. And either she's going to try or she is, but her mission is to take action. To cause you this nine of swords. And the cards say cruelty. Cruelty. So this queen of wands. I think she's the one. Who is in, the, in this devil energy. And she's probably jealous of you. Or could be. Um, mad at you. Because the devil could be anger. Rage. So this queen of wands is either jealous. Or she's angry at you. Sagittarius for whatever reason. And she want to take some action to cause you stress. And she's going to do it behind your back. Yeah, because it came out like this. It came out like this. So it's like you going that way. You looking at something else. And this Queen of Wands want to take action to cause you this Nine of Swords. But she's going to do it behind your back. Yeah. So, but I think the will, this will right here is going to step in and it probably, if this queen of wands successfully do something against you, Sagittarius, and cause you this stress is let me know whatever she want to do is cruelty. If the universe let her do this, it's going to come back around to her karma. Because this will is like karmic too as well. It's like karma. What goes around comes around. Because it keeps moving. But if this is not telling me that the universe is going to allow her to do this against you. This will is telling me that this will is going to step in. And um, not allow this queen of wands to do this to you. Or against you. Um... Let me see what this four pentacles. Clarify the four pentacles with the devil. Clarify the four pentacles. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna take this one. And it says star. Guaranteed success. Star. So I don't know, Sagittarius, if you could be some form of like a star or an influencer. You got some sort of platform or you could just be a successful person. And this devil energy, this person, this queen of wands, she's holding back something from you. It could be a payment. It could be some money. It could be some information that you need. She is like whatever this queen of wands is trying to do against you is like she's holding back something. And it's probably something you need to know. And this information will guarantee you some type of success. Yeah. She's holding back. This, this queen of wands, she jealous of you or she angry with you. And she's holding back something. And I'm getting that. It, whatever she's holding back on and not telling you or not saying to you, it can guarantee, it can guarantee you some success. Because, like I said, this Nine of Pentacles with the Seven of Swords. I'm not getting deception with the Seven of Swords. I'm getting whatever you're doing, um, whether it's career or your occupation, whatever you're doing is working for you. Like, you're getting away with it. And it don't got to be deceptively. It's just something is working for you. It's producing. You Nine Pentacles, single and abundant. So, clarify the Queen of Wands that clarified the devil. Clarify the first Queen of Wands that clarified the devil. Clarify this Queen of Wands. Yeah, Bo, you are highly thought of. Yeah, this Queen of Wands, she's um obsessing about your abundance. Because she's thinking about you. She's thinking about you a lot. And she's probably in your business. Because it's letting me know... 
you are highly thought of. So she thinks about you probably more than you think about yourself. Yeah, she in your business more than you in your own business. Yep. Clarify the second Queen of Wands that clarified the Nine of Pentacles. Clarify the second. So. Okay. So, Moon came out. Changes in your life. So, she want to take some action to cause some type of change in your life. That's probably not for the better. <clears throat> Fair man. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Dealings or relationship with the man with blonde, gray, or white hair. So this could be, she could be jealous of you because this could be a third party situation in love. If this is not love, this could be anything. This could be a work situation and this fair man could be your boss. And he probably favor you, Sagittarius, over that queen of wands. This don't have to be love, but it can be. Lion, time to act. Yeah, this Queen of Wands, she want to cause some negative changes in your life or you're having changes in your life concerning this fear man. So she see these changes in your life for the good and she want to act. Time to act. Someone will gossip about, gossip about all your secrets. So she's going to gossip about all your secrets. She's going to, she's acting. She's taking action to gossip. That's what she's doing. So she's gossiping about you. And then staff came out. You will be taken care of in difficult times. Yeah. So that's what's going on. That's what she's doing. I'm getting changes, changes in your life for the better. Because you nine pentacles. And you probably nine pentacles because you got away from something you needed to get away from. And it could possibly be you getting away from her. So it's changes in your life for the better. Concerning dealing with a dealing with a man with blonde gray hair, blonde gray or white hair. This Queen of Wands see these changes happening in your life, and she's trying to take action. Time to act. And what she's doing, she's gossiping about you, about your secrets, some secrets. But spirit is telling you, in spite of this queen of wands, take an action to gossip about your secrets. She want to have you in these nine swords, cruelty. She's being cruel. She want to have you like this, stressing, head down. This card is saying you will be taken care of in difficult times. So if this is a third party in love and you... <clears throat> and that queen of wands, both of y'all probably sleeping with this fair man right here. She could be gossiping to this fair man about you. And this fair man probably don't care because they're saying you will be taken care of in difficult time. So the fair man, if she gossiping to this fair man about probably some secrets of yours, I don't think he care. And if he do care, Either way around it, you're still going to be taken care of. It don't have to be love, but it can be. So that's what's going on down here at the bottom. And I'm going to go to the top and read y'all Oracle. Because Sagittarius, y'all got homework. And um, I laugh when I seen this card because, you know, Sagittarius, y'all sign for the most part. Y'all like adventure, you know, so y'all not really like too much of a homebody too much. So usually they say when the Sagittarius don't want to go outside and be out and go on an adventure, that means something going on. That's just like me. I'm a Capricorn. And they it, it say like when the Capricorn don't want to go to work, something wrong. <laughs> so when I seen this card, you know, you at home, I'm like, what's going on with Sagittarius? Because even the lady is at home. <clears throat> this lady is at home, but the card is telling her to, to go out. This card, even the card is saying go out. So I don't think that's a coincidence for y'all reading. Like, this is not a coincidence. And I also want to say that this card came out twice. Like, I was shuffling. This card flew out. It, like, flew across, like, the room. I picked it up because I didn't like the way it came out the deck. And I put it back, and I was shuffling again, and it came out twice. So this is for y'all. 
It came out twice while I was shuffling, getting y'all, you know, cars ready. So, Sagittarius is y'all all about adventure. And I don't know, something could be going on. And it is, this Queen of Wands coming up against you. She gossiping about you. So, it's like, you probably, you know, if this is a love situation, you just, you feel some type of way and you at home. Whatever this, whatever this Queen of Wands is doing to you, you know, you probably don't want to go out. Valentine's Day coming up. If this is a third party situation in love and you hear about that Queen of Wands gossiping about you or could even be posting stuff on social media about you, it's like you probably don't want to go nowhere for Valentine's. You, you don't, you don't want to be bothered. But the card is telling you take yourself out on a date. So it's still telling you to be who you are. Go out. Yeah. Don't let that Queen of Wands um isolate you to being at home. Whatever she's doing. But let me read y'all Oracle. What I got? 20 minutes. Slow down. It's time to press. It's time to press pause and contemplate before the next leg of your journey. It's in those solitary introspective moments where we learn the most interesting and eye-opening things about ourselves. Take yourself out on a date of on a date of sorts, even if it's just a quiet and cozy night at home. Enjoy your own company. Take yourself out on a date of sorts, even if it's just a quiet and cozy night at home. Enjoy your own company. I don't know, Sagittarius, if you are feminine watching this, you and this Queen of Wands could have been best friends at some point. And I don't know, maybe this fair man could have came in between y'all. Y'all, you know, nobody probably sleeping with him. It's just that he could have came in between y'all some way, shape, form, or fashion. And this Queen of Wands feels some type of way. And she's gossiping about your secrets. So it's say, enjoy your own company. Enjoy your own company. I don't know, you and this fair man could have broke up. And you and this Queen of Wands ain't friends no more. So it's like, enjoy your own company. Your man not there, this fit, he done left for whatever reason. And this Queen of Wands is telling you she gossiping about you. So it's saying, enjoy your own company. Yeah. So what clarified homework, y'all, Oracle was the sun. So this is the major arcana for Leo. Sagittarius, I got a feeling you dealing with another... um. Fire sign, because it's too much fire out here. We got Leo three times, because the Queen of Wands is usually a Leo. Don't have to be. But you probably dealing with another fire sign, and it's a, it's a Leo, whether it's a, um, whether this is a man or a female. So, this is a major arcana for Leo. This could signify something getting exposed. This could signify a marriage, or this could signify complete, like, somebody's happiness. This can also signify the sun card can signify you having a good day at work. Like you had an excellent day. Somebody having a good day at work. The sun. What clarified the sun was this king of pentacles. So this is earth energy, Capricorn towards a Virgo. When I asked for more information about the homework card, the ten of swords came out. So this is a painful ending. This is a betrayal. Um, let me well clarify. Um, the Ten of Swords was this Nine of Cups. So this is somebody wish fulfillment, wish come true, wish fulfillment. This is also somebody emotionally content alone by themselves. This Nine of Cups is somebody who is emotionally content alone. Um, So, what just came to me was, Sagittarius, you could be a stripper. You could be a stripper. Because the Nine of Pentacles can sometimes mean like a hoe. Somebody that's viewed as a hoe. Like a hoe card. So, I'm not saying you a hoe, but if you a stripper, if that's your line of work and you making money and you getting away with it, like you making cash, you making bank, 
this could be this queen of wands gossiping about you. She could be, you know, spreading rumors, whether they true or not, telling people you a hoe. Because that nine of pentacles, if this is not you literally being a hoe, this is you, you probably a stripper or something. And um, this queen of wands is telling people stuff. Whether these whether these rumors and her gossiping is true or not. She's telling people stuff. So you probably want to keep what you do for work a secret. And this Queen of Wands, because she's gossiping about you, she exposed it. She exposed it. That sun card means exposure. And this King of Pentacles could be your status. Like, you being a stripper, you probably didn't want your family and friends to know, like, you a stripper. Well, I don't know. Maybe you is a call girl. I don't, I don't know what you, I don't know what this Nine of Pentacles is. I'm, I'm going to clarify it. But this Queen of Wands exposed it. And that could be how, possibly how you got to this King of Pentacles status. I don't know. If you, I mean, if you is a prostitute or something, maybe this King of Pentacles is your pimp. Or this could be a professional, like a professionalism, like a professional escort. And this King of Pentacles is <clears throat> could be the business owner of the place where you work at. Because I'm getting that King of Pentacles is not you. And if it's not you, it could be either a person or this is your status. Like this Queen of Wands is exposing how you got to this King of Pentacles status. So, this is you feeling betrayed. You feel betrayed. And it caused the ending to your wish fulfillment. And I'm getting your wish fulfillment was to probably keep something secret. <clears throat> but, let me see. Clarify this nine of pentacles. Clarify this nine of pentacles. Clarify this nine of pentacles. Clarify the nine of pentacles. Where am I at? 27 minutes. Clarify the nine of pentacles. Clarify the nine of pentacles. Oh. So I'm going to just take this one. Whatever this nine of pentacles is. It could be all those things I mentioned. It don't have to be. But you know what you do for work. You know how you got this abundance. It don't have to be nothing like I said. But that's what I'm getting because what the cards can mean. But whatever this nine of pentacles is, this is your happiness. Whatever it is, whether you a stripper or not, whether you a call girl or not. Whatever this is, this is your happiness. And this queen of swords exposed it. And you feel betrayed concerning your wish fulfillment. And your wish fulfillment was this nine of pentacles. Because it say happiness. I mean, this could be something as simple as say like. Say like if you married Sagittarius and you wanted to get a divorce, but you wanted to do it secretly. Like you didn't want your husband to know. You probably went in secret and did the paperwork. And this Queen of Wands could have told your person that you wanted to be single. That's what this could be telling me too. You wanted to keep everything a secret. Whether you divorcing your person or not. You probably really want to be single. Like your happiness is to be single. And this Queen of Wands went and said something. She said something. That's why you feel betrayed. There's a painful ending and there's a betrayal. Yeah. And it's the ending of your wish fulfillment. And I'm getting, you want it. Because <clears throat> this seven of swords is like you being sneaky. This seven of swords is deception. It don't have to be, but usually the seven of swords is deception. So say like if you was a stripper or something and you didn't want people to know. You was doing it sneakily. Like, you didn't tell your family and friends. This Queen of Wands knew, but you probably didn't tell your close, you know. You probably didn't tell your mother.